Abstemious. Abstemious eating habits. Abstemious might describe a nun or a priest who should never eat too much. You should be abstemious when you're on a diet. Austere. Austere judge. Austere means very strict and stern, like a typical judge. It can also mean that he lived a very strict lifestyle, without any luxuries or waste. Curtail. Curtail the program. Curtail is to end something early. If you end a five-day program after only three days, you have curtailed the program. Eclectic. Eclectic research. An eclectic research will use many different types of sources for its information. An eclectic CD collection might have music from many different styles. Fastidious. Fastidious dresser. A fastidious dresser is hard to shop for because she is too picky about her clothing. You can be fastidious about eating, dressing, or the like. Incongruous. Incongruous attire. Incongruous means that the thing is out of place for the situation. If you wear a tuxedo to eat at Burger King, that would be incongruous. A closely related word is anachronistic, which means being out of time. Magnanimous. Magnanimous priest. The root magna means big, and anima means soul or mind. A magnanimous person is very kind and generous because he has a big heart. Phenomena. Kept records of the phenomena. Any observable occurrence can be called a phenomenon. Phenomena is the plural form. Use it like, the word, like you would use the word event. Repel. Insect repellent. Re means back and pel means to push. To repel someone is to push him back. An insect repellent spray pushes back insects. The soldiers can repel an attack. Your body odor might repel others as well. Subtlety. Subtle humor. The letter B is silent in the word subtlety. Subtlety refers to being very low-keyed and delicate in handling a subject. A subtle humor is a very delicate kind that wouldn't cause a loud laughter but hints at something humorous.